Here I'll show you how you can connect your iPhone to your PC, then locate your downloaded file and flash your phone. Some people complain that after downloading, they don't see the file. So that brought me to make this tutorial. So please follow the instructions on the video so that you don't have to ask questions. First of all, make sure that your system is connected to internet that's the first thing so my pc is now connected to internet this is the symbol so i can browse so the next thing i will do now is i will open my three u tools and then if you don't have three u tools you go and download a fresh one so download three u two from here Let's tap three u tools that come so these three you two so you click here then this is the website so you can download it from here you click on download now it will download then after downloading locate where the downloaded software is save and install it so i already have it i'm not going to download it again so rather I will straight to my desktop this I wait for it to open. If it doesn't open, I'll download a fresh one and install it. It's just a hundred megabytes. So it has opened. So the next thing I will do is to connect my phone in DFU mode to PC. Please watch my video where I show you how you can connect your phone to DFU mode. Then I will also show, show you how I'll do it here. Then what I have here is Windows 7. So this the 3 u 2 has opened. Once the phone is connected, you see all the information here. So that information will enable you to flash the phone. So let me connect my phone to system. In case you are interested in flashing phones, both Android and uh, iOS, please check a link on the description below. I have a good, nice and detailed course on Udemy that will walk you through the journey and make you a professional on how to reprogram flash and fix any software issue regarding smartphones so this is iphone 7 so to connect it to dfu mode press both the power button and the volume down for the white once you connect it, release the power button and keep on pressing the volume down. This is how iPhone 7 looks like when it's connected to a PC in their few mode. Other phones, iPhones have their own sign. So my phone is connected to USB to the system and in DFU mode automatically if you install iTunes it will pop up iTunes but we are not going to use iTunes at this moment we want to use uh, 3 u so we are going to close down iTunes and continue with 3 u so this is how iPhone 7 look like when it's connected to PC in DFU mode other phones, iPhones have their own uh, sign so I'll close down I'll close iTunes because I'm not using it to work I'm using three YouTube's so now this information about this phone so this information will enable you to download file if you want to download so what we want to do now we want to flash the phone so we click 
you already have the phone so you know the information we click on smash smart air flash we'll click here this smart flash good then if you want to download a file using this 3u2 we can select this one or this one whichever one we want so we already have a 15.2 so if we don't want to download the file in case we don't have the file but i have the file so since i have the file i'm going to select this one please uh, normally i use this there are three options here i use quick flash mode that's what i use i use this so i always select this used quick flash mode now what i used to flash so since i have the file of this phone i'm, not, I'm going to select here so uh, let's assume i want to download this phone file from a browser not using 3u2 so what i'm going to do that i'll take this information and download it can take this information or i'll use this information here so let me go to my browser then and say iphone 7 ios download This is the first site that always pop up. It's called IPSW. So, but there's a particular file I use where I can get all the files that I need. But you can use this one, it's also safe. But in case you don't see the file you're looking for. So let's go through here. So good. You can see we have a uh, two iOS here, 15.2, 15.1, that are marked green. Them is two of them you can see use them to flash the phone why other ones are right so i discovered one thing if you come here there's a particular site that doesn't show normally which gives you what you want it's a nice site i can download any file i want there somebody complain of iphone 12 uh, pro mass and also you can't find the file so look at where you can see the file here and the site is called uh, the iPhone Week or Wiki. The iPhone Wiki. That is the name of the site. It's called the iPhone Wiki. Good. This the iPhone Wiki. Have it at the back of your mind. Then select this firmware. Not select firmware. Because if you open this iPhone wiki, you might take you to other information which you don't need. So what you are going to do is select this firmware. Good. Then come down. So have iPhone, iPhone one, two, three. So here we're talking about iPhone now, version fifteen. X. So let's click it and see what we have there. Good. You can see the one listed that supports iPhone version, the iPhone S version 15, ranging from iPhone 6S to iPhone 13 Pro Max. So, like the person that complained iPhone 12 Pro Max, this is iPhone 12 Pro Max. So, the file is here. Let's assume I want to download it. The other thing I'll do, I'll open it in another tab. Then what we're downloading here is iPhone 7. So I can open this as well. So this is iPhone 7. So if I want to download the latest version here is 15.2. So I can download it from here. Just click this. I will take you time to download depending on the file size. And this just appeared 13 December. So you can still use this one as well but this is the latest then for iphone 12 pro mass this is iphone 12 pro mass this is iphone 13 mini this is iphone 13 this is iphone 13 pro iphone 13 pro mass so all the files are here you can download them so once you finish downloading 
let's assume we download this guy see it's downloading here i have the file so i don't need to download it i'm going to cancel this so once you finish downloading then remember where the file is saved so my is important remember where your file is saved so that is when you finish downloading you can say show in folder so that you locate the file so once you locate the file you know exactly where the file is so if you now finish downloading i want to flash since you have downloaded it not using three u then what you do you come here and select select local firmware when you select this make sure you use this that what i use and it doesn't fail me i use this option quick flash mode we select local firmware then click on import wait for it see it has taken me to where they call itunes iphone software of this normally if you download any iphone ios with itunes this is where it's going to be saved but me i hardly download it with itunes so that's why it's taking you here so this is the default folder where 3u2 will take you when you want to select a local firmware it will take you to here that's where you will go so the next thing i will do now because i don't save it here i save on my downloads or my documents so this particular iphone 7 and this is the firmware let me check if, if i have it on my documents the one i downloaded i click documents then i gradually scroll down you always get it after folders and files or after folders before file good this is the two ios i have here let me see the one that is for iphone 7 iphone 7 is 4.7 p 3 15.1 let me see that this 4.7 p3 15.2 good so i even have this so you click on this remember you must select the folder so where i saved mine is under my documents and that is what is open here so click on it once you click then you click open and then you click once here and this and followed by this or you double click here when you double click this is going to open but if you are not used to system click once here you have selected it then click open good then the next thing you see is say imported meaning that it's ready so make sure you don't click any other date s after selecting this one so now quick flash mode is what i select then the next thing i will now do is i'll click a flash and once everything is all right you have a good uh, pc and no battery your yeah. iphone and your pc is going to flash till it's complete there's no rocket science there is as easy as abcd the last phone i flash which i uploaded the video you can watch the video i'll drop the link is a iphone ss pro max ss mass sorry ss mass so i believe ss mass is a higher than a 12 or so i'm not sure let me check here I'll scroll down here yeah this ss mass so ss mass come after iphone s okay first mass so iTunes for now can flash up to iPhone 12 Pro Max and others. So this is just the way it goes. So this one sometimes is easier, but you can still use iTunes. But this is what I use. I do it for people, not just for a pers personal use. I'm a professional in phone uh, software and reprogramming. So I do it a lot. If you have any other question, you can ask me.
so this is how and where i'm going to drop please share my video like my video if you run into problems always use my comment i will answer you as soon as possible and uh, don't forget to subscribe